Okay, so we've talked about how this is a toric system. And we've talked about how we can describe this toric system using a, um, a spherical lens and a plus cylindrical lens. And we've talked about how you can build this toric system using a spherical lens and a minus cylindrical lens. What we're going to do today is we're going to talk about how to build this toric system using no spherical lens at all and just using cylindrical lenses. And you might ask yourself, why in the world would anybody want to do that? That's crazy. Um, and intuitively it doesn't make a lot of sense to because it's easy to start with a spherical lens and just build a cylindrical lens on top of it. But um, way at the end of this curriculum when we're talking about retinoscopy and objective refraction, it's a way to refract um, kids. Um, so even though you're, you're kind of refracting with spherical lenses, um, the, you kind of do it in a cylindrical way. So you'll see how that all shakes out many presentations down the road. Okay, so how do we do this? Using no spherical lens at all, we're going to add two cylindrical lenses together. Now, in a way, it's actually kind of easy. So what you do is you take the two main axes, one plus five lies along one and plus three lies along the other, and you just add those together. So you've got the plus five up here, and you've got the plus three over here, right? And then plus five plus what equals plus five? Plano, zero. And what do we have to add to plus three to give us plus three? Plano, right? So plus five plus Plano equals plus five, Plano plus three equals plus three. And what we end up with is two cylindrical lenses. So what's this one? This one is plus five axis 180. And this one is plus three, horrible three, plus three axis 90. And the way you kind of write it is like this. It's not great notation. Or you can, you can get by writing it like this. There's just, there's no, I mean, there's no great notation. This is kind of the standard. And so the way this is written is we have a plus five cylindrical lens held axis 180, and we have a plus three cylindrical lens held axis 90. And if we hold those two cylindrical lenses up together, we get that. So this is another way we can build this toric system using um, just cylindrical lenses, but not using toric lenses. We, the building blocks we have at hand are spherical lenses and cylindrical lenses. We don't have toric lenses in the eye clinic. So how do we build toric systems? This is another way. Okay, let's do another one um, where now we're going to have a um, 40, uh, is that 45? No, this is 45. And um, let's say this is plus one. Uh, this is the 135 axis. And let's say that we have um, plus 250 is along here and plus 125 is along here. So which two cylindrical lenses are we going to use? Super easy, right? We have a plus 125 here. We have a plus 250 here. Fill in planos, 90 degrees apart from each. And then what do we have? This is the 45 degree meridian. This is the 135 degree meridian. So this one is um, plus 125 axis 45, because the plano is along the 45 degree meridian. This one is plus 250 axis 135. So this is another way that we can write this toric system. Plus 125 axis 45 cylindrical lens and a plus 250 axis 135 cylindrical lens. Okay, so in the last few lectures now we've really talked about toric lenses. We've drawn them out with a power cross. We have figured out how to build it using a spherical and a plus cylindrical lens. We have figured out how to build it using a spherical and a minus cylindrical lens. We have figured out how to build it using just cylindrical lenses. So now Let's do some practice problems in the next presentation to really kind of drive things home. Thanks.